Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 6th of March. I'm James Spann. Blustery today, but we'll be dry for a while. That's the good news. And the weather warms up pretty quickly later this week. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the uh, Hamilton Skycam. Looking over toward First Baptist Church, clear and cold. They are below freezing. Down the road, there's the Fayette County Courthouse. And down to the south, there's a look at the Skycam at the Demopolis Civic Center, where a chilly north wind stirring those flags. Big upper low is on the Virginia-North Carolina border this morning, and that's going to aid in a major snowstorm for the Mid-Atlantic Coast region today. And down here, it's cold. Early morning temperatures, low to mid-30s around the nation. Pretty cold for March. You have to really go down to uh, South Florida to find any real warmth. There's our watch warning map. We've got winter storm warnings in effect from near Cincinnati over to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Also some on the immediate New England coast. There's a look at the latest snow projection coming off the RPM for the next 72 hours. Some really big numbers. You know, those spots of yellow, that represents over two feet west of Washington, D.C., a little west of New York City, south of Boston, down toward Providence. So um, obviously it's going to be a big mess up in through there today, tonight, and tomorrow. There's the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through Wednesday morning of next week. This is showing about one inch around here. We'll check modeling. This is the 06 ZGFS. Valid at 12 noon today. There's the upper load that's on the coast around the tide water. Down below that, the surface load directly underneath that. It is vertically stacked and a whopper of a snow just to the north and west of the surface low. Again, uh, areas west of D.C. getting the heaviest amounts, but certainly there should be plenty for Washington, D.C. and Baltimore as well. Uh, But around here, just uh, kind of a windy and cold day. And again, for the northeast counties, you know, up around uh, Fort Payne and Mentone and Cedar Bluff, they could stay cloudy most of the day today, but other folks will likely have a, a partly to mostly sunny sky with a high only in the upper 40s and a chilly north wind. Uh, tomorrow we'll start the day in the upper 20s in most spots, but we start to warm up tomorrow afternoon. The high should be in the upper 50s. Friday looks good. Highs up in the middle 60s. How about a beautiful weekend? This Saturday, big storm will watch out there on the uh, plains of Colorado. Uh, but around here, the day should be dry. The sky should be sunny. The high in the upper 60s. And Sunday, the rain stays west of here. We stay dry, kind of breezy, and a good chance we see low 70s. That'll feel so good on Sunday. And then Monday, the upper trough is progressive. It is positive tilt, and we go wet on Monday. This is the GFS, valid at 12 noon. And the European in very good agreement now. Both models showing a good band of showers and storms coming in here. Severe weather, well, for now looks doubtful. This is the instability off the uh, GFS at noon on Monday, and there is not any over the northern half of the state. You really have to go down into South Alabama to find the better instability value. So for now, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Looks like the chance of severe weather should be low. Tuesday of next week, we turn drier. A little cooler, but not too bad. High should be in the upper 50s. And a week from today looks very nice. Sunny, a low in the 30s. High should be in the 60s, about average for this time of the year. We'll go later in the month. This is March the 20th. Pretty impressive storm wrapped up over Iowa. Looks a little stormy down here. And then on the 21st, the end of the forecast, that is gone. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget, you can watch us on uh, ABC 3340 on the live stream or the television side this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.